The condition dialog has two identical parts that contain all the available options and is divided by the operator set. That will determine the relationship between the two. Always be aware of the nature of the operator because that will define how the rule can be activated and how long it will stay so. As for the main panels, there are really a lot of stuff in there so at first you might get lost a bit. Use the search to filter even just by adding the first letter. At first, let's go through the price data panel. In here you can refer to the price action by several ways. It's best to visualize on the chart what data you want to use. Bid and ask change continuously while open or close happens once in a bar. If you want to refer to a previous candle, you can count back by increasing the shift number with 1 being the current. The spread you can use as a filter for avoid low liquidity periods or news releases, but also to disable your strategy on instruments that have undesirably wide spreads. As for the indicators to use them, the most important thing you need to mind is the output data of the indicator and how it behaves along the price. The first one you can check in the data window of your MetaTrader, while the second one is by simply running it and watch. Some indicators, especially on a lower period, will change wildly between a bigger range and will trigger your condition all the time, so you might want to use a double condition on them. Likewise, there are indicators that are just not in the same dimension, so it's meaningless to mix them. Like a Bollinger Band will not cross CCI, neither the price, the RSI and so on. There are a few pages I listed where you can check what the given indicator might do and you can also download and add new ones. Copy the MQ4 format of the file into the custom indicator folder of the EA wizard and upload it through the Manage Indicator panel. Some indicators has no usable output data or don't have the same input options that you used on the chart, but luckily there are many variations of them out on the net so you can always find those that work. It's important though to add the given indicator to the MetaTrader as well or your expert that uses it won't work. These added indicators, just as in the MetaTrader, will go to the custom indicator section. You'll find detailed instructions on this subject on the Strategy Quant page. Before we go on, there are a few other functions related to indicators, but found elsewhere in the Functions bar. Indicator Angle works best on moving averages. By setting such a rule, you can watch the strength of a price movement for the higher the angle, the more volatile the movement was. Indicator Average can put a moving average to another indicator, averaging the data of that. For example, you can have the average of the 14th period ATR for the last 50 bars. Recent can be used to have past data of indicators and that can be used, for example, on divergent strategies. Let's say you want to enter after a double top, where the momentum indicator's top is lower than the previous, so by that there is a divergence. It's not the same as with shift. If two bars ago it's lower than one bars ago, it only means that the indicator is rising. Now let's move to the other indicators, for beside what you might put there, there are some other useful things. Beside Heiken Ashi, which is the same as in the price data, you see a lot of different high and low types. Lowest will give you the lowest point of a given number of bars. This can be used for breakouts as in the preset, you just need to add some pips to it as a gap using add or subtract depend on which direction. Always set the bar number as a variable so you can tune it. The more bars you add, the more late it will be to close on the price. In the formula it looks like this. Highest of course is the same just for the opposite part. Here your filter was by the number of bars, but you can specify a time period instead using the highest and lowest in range option. 
Bar range will give you the size of a bar. You can filter out rallies by it or make rules for inside bar breakouts. Biggest and smallest range will give you the biggest or smallest candle of a group of bars. For example, for breakouts you can use that as a stop distance. Of all these, the most you will use highest and lowest. Of the many simpler ways you can manage your positions, trailing to the last top or button gives you the best results as I experienced, much better than uh, just PSR or simple trailing. However, if you want to make a strategy for swings properly, it will need more sophisticated description than just using highs and lows of a given number of bars. Time values mainly work as a time filter. You want to focus on certain trading periods for higher results, or even one particular minute of it with a specialized expert. In other cases, you just want to save universal strategies from some events that would worsen their results. It's good to filter your strategies by days as well, for many times on certain days they perform below the average. Fridays, for example, can be such because known from payrolls, but this all depends on your strategy. The most common combination you will use measure current time or current date with a given one, which you will find in functions as get time or get date. You always want to use periods rather than give an absolute moment by equation, because if by any chance it wasn't executed, the program won't try it again. So, for example, if you want to enter at noon, make a condition afternoon and before noon plus a minute. Time and date can be set individually as a certain bars ago. Of course, you have to make it sure that then the year runs on the desirable time frame. It's important that the time you set is measured by the broker's time displayed on the time slide of the MetaTrader 4, but not your own time, so set it accordingly. Day of the week can be matched with day same place in the time values, where you can set which particular day you want. There is no hierarchy among days to use bigger or smaller, so to filter Friday out, for example, use this formula. Also, this works only on recent data, for MetaTrader can't filter out days on the simple data it uses for backtests. We continue the tutorial with the strategy control tab in the next lecture.